to my channel or if you are new, welcome here to my channel in general. So this weekend was Chuseok weekend. Chuseok this year was on a Friday. Every year the date for Chuseok changes according to the lunar calendar. So Chuseok was Friday, which was yesterday. And this year I traveled with Andy's nuclear family uh, for the first time on Chuseok. Thursday, the day before Chuseok, we had an engagement dinner for Andy's cousin who's getting married in the winter. So we had the engagement, well it wasn't an engagement dinner, it was an engagement lunch. So we had the lunch and then we had like the Chuseok dinner together as like an extended family Thursday night. So we were free to travel Friday. So we are in Gunsan and I apologize for filming the intro in our hotel room. But yesterday, it's my fault we were late. We rushed and then we drove here and oh my god, it should only take like an hour. But it took three hours in traffic or four, four hours in traffic. So after we got here yesterday, after many hours in the car, we traveled around a really, really cool vintage area. And it's very authentically vintage, but I did not have, I tried to be in the moment a lot yesterday and I did not have a lot of, I just didn't take the time, I guess, to like properly vlog, like showing my base and explaining things. So I'm gonna try something a little different. I'm gonna show you guys all the footage we took from yesterday, which was incredible. And I'm gonna do like a voiceover. There are gonna be some bits where I talk to the camera, but it's mostly gonna be voiceover because Gunsan has so much history and it's such a cool place that I want you guys to get as much information as you can so that you might also think it's worth the travel to get down here because it's super cool. So I'll whisk you away to yesterday and see you again today. Gunsan was a small fishing village settled on the Goom River just upstream from the Yellow Sea in what is now northern Jola province. During the Japanese occupation, Gunsan was forced to ship its rice back to Japan. Despite the sad history of colonization, many Koreans do acknowledge that Gunsan developed rapidly during occupation. The Japanese built many buildings that are still intact today, including the Hirotsu House built in the 1920s by a wealthy Japanese fabric dealer. This two-story home has been preserved for almost 100 years now and is open every day to visitors with tours inside the home on Saturdays. Even today, many new buildings are built in a mixed Korean-Japanese style. At least that's what my boyfriend says they feel like. During the Korean War of the 1950s, Gunsan was left relatively untouched. Foot soldiers pushed towards Busan, and the Gunsan Marine Force consistently struck down communist ships, keeping the port and town safe from invasion. A lot of history was destroyed during the Korean War, which is why the preserved Gunsan can boast the oldest bakery in Korea, only surviving Japanese Buddhist temple, and many historical buildings that are nearly 100 years old. Once Korea really started to embrace international trade, Gunsan as a port city saw many new imports and thrived in the new modern times. Today, there's a whole neighborhood branded as Hello Modern in celebration of this era, selling vintage clothes, snacks, and toys. You can even rent vintage school uniforms and take pictures on famous old train tracks. From one of the most authentically vintage cities in Korea, Gunsan is well worth the trip. Enjoy the rest of our footage from Friday. You know what this sounds like? I just thought of it. It sounds like music Captain America would like. <laughs> Not the light bulbs, obviously, but this roof was built by the Japanese almost a hundred years ago. So this is like an old photo studio from the 30s, and recently, right before Chuseok, there was a hurricane, hurricane, hurricane Ling Ling, and they are now missing signage from that hurricane. Engagement pictures. Those are marriage pictures. I wish they all had years. This is the only one with like a year you can kind of see. It looks like 52 or 62. It 
lady at this super cool store just convinced me to buy a soap. I thought this was like candy, but they're all soaps, handmade soaps that she makes. And they're all made from different things. This is funny to me. It says chocolate, please don't eat. I got the chestnut peel for my nose pores. I get tons of blackheads on my nose, so hoping to control some pores. Did she buy toys? No. No? Oh, lottery? There's like the little... We got the price. Lego. Lego? Lego. We got Legos. <laughs> Are these like paper I like dolls? the sentence here. What sentence? My Aunt Michelle used to play with paper dolls when she was little. This is shikke, a kind of traditional style rice tea. Andy's grandma is really good at making this. Family photo, so cute. It's, where did it go? Oh my god, where did it, oh my god, there it is. There's a Korean hummingbird, but it looks like a bee. Like, it, I thought it was a huge wasp. And there he is, oh my god! Oh, there he is! Where'd you go? Oh, he's so interesting. I've never seen a hummingbird look like that. They just preserved them. It's been preserved? They've been preserving. Wow. So this building is one of the oldest modern buildings in Korea. It was an old storage unit, like for grain or something like that. So it's been restored over the years, but the roof is still maintained but original. So that was yesterday, super fun, super cool. And today, today I guess is like the main event, the main thing we came here to do. You can rent vintage school uniforms and go take pictures on some famous train tracks and around like the surrounding location. Andy's mom and sister did this before, so we're gonna do it as a family. Today I go rent, rent some vintage school uniforms and take some pictures. Vintage is really, really trendy lately, not only just across the whole world, but in Korea too. Like more vintage stores are popping up, but Gunsan like truly is a vintage city. Yeah, it's like an industrial modern city. Um, their port is now an industrial port, but there's so much history here that they've managed to preserve so well. So I can't wait to show you guys more of Gunsan today and do more of like a proper standard vlog, like showing my base. So we are gonna be leaving for lunch soon and I will see you in Gunsan. The restaurant we are having breakfast slash lunch in is famous for Korean style raw beef. And they also have a ton of antique stuff.
the restaurant is not serving raw beef today, so this is radish and beef soup. Three of us have that, and each mom has spicy uh, bean sprouts. So we had some after lunch coffee at the same cafe we went to yesterday and now we are finally headed to do pictures. It's quite cloudy and the wind is picking up like it might rain so I hope it doesn't rain. Let's go take vintage pictures in vintage school uniforms. All right, these are not like authentically vintage, literally from decades ago, like they're newer clothes, just in the vintage style. And so this is actually a snap. I don't know if that's how they really were worn before or if this was a different undershirt. Then this is a zip and this is the only mirror in here. So this is all I can see of myself so far. All right, we just took like professional pictures and now we're just gonna like explore and have fun by ourselves. Never worn a school uniform before in my life. Andy grew up wearing them. At least over 90% of schools in Korea wear uniforms. I know in other countries too, they're like super standard in the West and in the East, but I did not grow up with a school uniform. Basically only if you went to like Catholic school or school in the city, like a lot of Philadelphia schools wear uniforms, but not mine. So it's my first time. And this isn't even like the uniforms they wear today. These are the old style uniforms, but I feel really cute. These old train tracks are cool, and the old buildings are cool, but there are too many people and too many like junk shops for my taste. I wish there weren't allowed to be so many junk shops. Um, what does this mean? Glitter and gold grade. Is it for like student government? Uh, yeah. Yeah? Do schools still do this? Like, did your grade when you were in school have one of these? Do they still wear this on their uniform? These are pretty hot. It's hotter today than we thought it was gonna be. All of these vintage toys, there's pop rocks everywhere. It's driving me insane. All right, we're gonna go take these off and change into our not so hot normal people clothes, but they're really fun to wear. Stupid pop rocks. And we're gonna, oh my God. And we're going to show you guys the pictures we took. They're really cute. Quick side note, as we're walking back, there are tons of young people like Andy and I's age wearing these uniforms. But there are also a lot of like older people wearing uniforms too. And it's like really, I think it's really cute because some of them look like, especially the older men, look like they're reliving like childhood days wearing the school uniforms. It's really cool for them, I think. I'm watching, I don't like, wipe out on these treacherous train tracks and my uh, slippers with my camera. This up ahead is the situation Andy and I were in when we were taking our pictures. That was us a couple minutes ago. <laughs> Right, guys we just had a little bit of a light dinner it wasn't really that light we had Chinese food um, but we are going to head home now we estimate between traffic and switching from Andy's sister's car to KTX it's gonna take us like five hours between Gunsan and our apartment so we got to get going heading home Gunsan was super nice the weather is just in that transitionary period between summer and fall now where the day the Sun is still super strong but night like right now 
at like five. It's like perfect. It's so nice. So we're gonna get going. Um, I'm really happy with the weekend. The weather was perfect. We got to see so many vintage things and wearing the school uniforms was super fun. I'm really happy I was able to add another location outside of Seoul to my list. I love leaving Seoul. This is gonna sound bad. Every time I leave Seoul, I'm reminded of how much I love Korea. Does that make sense? I love the countryside and seeing other cities and areas. So yeah, I hope you guys feel inspired to come visit Gunsan too. It was wonderful, especially if you're really into vintage things. Such a cool place. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching this one. Bye bye. Can you guys hear that like super loud cricket? That cricket, he's just living his best life.